In this circuit, the switch has been open for a very long time. So the circuit is in DC steady state. Right before we close the switch at t equals 0, at 0 minus, we're going to find what is the voltage in the capacitor that will be VC0. The initial voltage in the capacitor for the next stage. At that point in time in DC steady state, this capacitor is represented by an open circuit and this resistor here at the bottom is not included because the switch is still open. Let's identify some nodes. This will be node 1 whose voltage is VC0, the V7 that we need to find. Here is node 2. And this is node X for which we are not going to write a K-scale equation. Is this voltage and this one and this one and this one. This one is known. This is 5 volts, of course. 5 volts in here. This is not an unknown. The actual unknowns are V1s, Vx, and V2. Three unknowns, we need three equations. We have a negative feedback equation, because this op-amp does have negative feedback. See, there is negative feedback. So we can write that Vn equal to Vp. That is, V2 is 5 volts. That is our first equation. V2 is 5 volts. And we can write a KCL equation for node 1, KCL equation 1, for that we need branch currents assumed with this direction, KCL 1, mm, is 5 minus V1 over 1 kilo, that is the one on the top, uh -huh. plus Vx minus V1 over 4 kilos, that is this current, equal to the current through this one, equal to V1 over 2 kilos. And that takes care of that. And KCL2 for this one has three components. This current, this current, and zero amps, because this is an idea. Oh, KCL2 is Vx minus V2 over 22.5 equal to 0 plus V2 over 2.5. Three equations, three unknowns, V1, Vx, and V2, which is not really an unknown anyway. Let's solve that. If we solve that system, we get that V1, which is Vc0, is 10 volts. And this is half of the problem. For t greater than 0, this switch is closed, and we want to find the 7 and equivalent that the capacitor sees into the circuit. That means that instead of a capacitor, we're going to have a 1 amp first and a 2 amp current source there for the UBC 1 amp 2 amp tests. Apply that, find what this is, this voltage, that's going to be V1A. Nodes, node 1. Node 2, 5 volts. And uh, node X, of course. Well, branch currents, same as before. Uh, combining those two in parallel would be 11.25 kilo ohms in this one. Directions for the currents, assumed arbitrarily. And again, we write a negative feedback equation, that means that V2 is 5 volts. Negative feedback equation, V2 is 5 volts. KCL1 for this node is 1 amp entering this one, plus 5 minus V1 divided by 1 kilo, plus Vx minus V1 divided by 4 kilos, that is this current, equals to V1 over 2 kilos. That is KCL for node 1 and KCL for node number 2. 
remembering that this current is zero because this is an idea yellow pump. KCL2 will be Vx minus V2, which is 5, divided by this parallel, which is 11, 125 kilos, equals to V2 divided by 2.5 kilos, this current here. Those are three equations and three unknowns, V1, Vx, and V2. We need V1 because V1 is going to be V1a. This is the system. These are KCL1 and KCL2 with the substitution of V2 equal 5 volts in here and in there. We solve for V1 and Vx, knowing that V1 will be directly V1a. That is V1a, 7.357. That is the value I need. So let me break the object into pieces, eliminate these two values, clear this V1a with clear equation there. That is V1a. Let me swap and delete this. That is V1a. Let me swap again. Let me break this object into pieces, eliminate the two, swap, and this equation is the same we're going to use for the 2 amp test. 2 amps test. We only need to change this one by a 2. How? A down arrow. This is the equation. Edit. And we move. And we change that 1 amp. Delete, delete. With the 2 amps. Enter. Enter. You see the equation now has the 2 amps. We swap, we are ready to solve the new equations with the 2 amps test for V1 and Vx. Symbolic solver, linear solution, this is V2a. We we'll do the same, break the object into pieces, eliminate this two, swap, delete this one, clear the equation, that is V2, remember, that is V2. Okay, V2a, so let's uh, roll up, roll up like so, enter, Swap, so we have them in V1A, V2A, order, 2, enter, make me an array, and now we solve the 1112. 1112, braces, 2 rows, 2 columns, enter, make me an array, divide, and that is V7, and this is R7. R7, and of course, is given in kilo ohms because we've been computing everything in kilo ohms so we write a v7 of the second circuit is going to be this is v7 and this is r7 the one that the capacitor sees so that means that the this is the final value of the voltage in the capacitor and the time constant will be the product of this with a capacitance of 20 microfarads. Let's find that time constant. This value, break the object into pieces, that's right, multiply that times a thousand, because those are kilos, these are ohms. Enter, multiply, 20, 10 to the minus 6, those are microfarads, multiply, that is tau. That is tau. The inverse of tau, it's going to be 87.5. That our solution, the voltage in the capacitor, as a function of time, is going to be the final value of 6.786 plus initial voltage 10 minus final voltage 6786, an exponential of negative 87.5 T volts. That is the solution to this exercise. Thank you very much.